Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, you will recall that the Electoral Act 2010 Amendment Bill was passed by the National Assembly and forwarded to the President for assent. Recall also that pursuant to Section 58.4 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, the President declined asset due to the following observations. A. The amendment to the sequence of election in Section 25 of the Principal Act may infringe upon the constitutionally guaranteed discretion of the Independent National Electoral Commission to organize, undertake, supervise all elections in Section 15A of the third schedule of the Constitution. B. The amendment to Section 138 of the Principal Act to delete two crucial grounds upon which an election may be challenged by candidates unduly limits the rights of the candidates in election to a free and fair electoral review process. And C, the amendment to section 15235 of the Principal Act may raise constitutional issues over the competence of the National Assembly to legislate over local government elections. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, in line with Order 88C of the Senate Standing Rules as amended, the committee therefore recommends as follows. A, that Section 25 and 15235 do stand deleted based on the President's observation. B, that Section 138C and D should be retained as contained in the Principal Act of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. C, that Section 49 is further amended by inclusion of subsection 3 to with where a smart card reader deployed for accreditation of voters fail to function in any unit and a fresh card reader is not deployed. The election in that unit shall be cancelled and another election shall be scheduled within 24 hours. D, that Section 140 is amended to include C to with where the election is postponed due to the omission of a political party's name or logo, the commission's officer responsible for such printing of party's name or logo commits an offense and is liable on conviction to a fine of two million naira or imprisonment or both for two years. For two years. However, there were observations by the Independent National Electoral Commission which are germane in deepening the electoral process in Nigeria that came late to the committee, and therefore advise such observations to be considered in subsequent electoral amendments. INEC is worried that without these amendments, their operation may be impaired. Committee observations slash finding. Flowing from our analysis of the provisions of the bill in line with the issues raised therein, the committee hereby observes and finds as follows. One that this report successfully captured all the concerns raised on some of the provisions of the bill. Two, that all the innovative provisions of the bill have been adopted by the committee in order to guarantee electioneering process in the country. And three, that the passage of this bill in its present form will finally bring to an end every controversy which has hitherto hindered the passage of the bill. Recommendation. The Senate Committee on Independent National Electoral Commission, having carefully considered this bill, hereby recommends as follows. That the Senate do consider and pass the Electoral Amendment Bill 2018 as amended. That the Senate grant the leave approval to expeditiously consider the amendments to the Electoral Act as requested by INEC by way of another fresh bill. I so move, Mr. President, and in conclusion, we wish to use this opportunity to thank the President of the Senate and our distinguished colleagues for the opportunity to serve in the capacity and humbly request that the Senate do pass this bill. I thank you, Mr. President.